Hi, I'm Jamie Philbrook for IamRogue.com. I'm here in San Diego at Comic-Con International 2014, and I had a chance to talk to the filmmakers from the new horror movie, As Above, So Below. Here's what they had to say about their new film. Tell me a little bit about um, coming up with the idea for the film and developing the screenplay. Well, Drew and I had always wanted to do a kind of found footage Indiana, -S Indiana Jones-esque kind of movie and uh, with a female lead. Uh, but to do it in a kind of found footage, like really personal way. And uh, Thomas Tall at Legendary called us uh, and uh, said, I, I would love to do something in the Paris catacombs. And we we're like, oh my God, that's, that's the perfect setting for this story. And we brought it in, pitched him a couple days later, and he said, let's do this. And, uh, and he was serious. And we went off and just shot it. And the whole thing uh, happened really fast. Were you guys able to shoot in Paris? Yeah, we shot the whole movie in Paris. We shot one week above ground and then five weeks underground in the real catacombs, everything practical. It was very challenging and the, the, the permits were not easy and the getting equipment down there wasn't easy and there was no bathrooms and I mean, everything about it was uh, not, not easy. <laughs> seemed like a good idea <laughs> before. <laughs> now that we're actually there, how do we do this? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. exactly and, right. I mean, certain people like, you know, it's scary down there and it, it's unnerving and uh, you know, by the end of the shoot, like we all like had neck problems from hitting our heads on the ceiling, and I mean it was it was it was nasty down there. Yeah, but I don't know that level of discomfort really shows through in the performances and the actors at the end of the day. I mean, they didn't love it every day, but by the end, I think they really uh, they felt that it added to their performance in a lot of ways. Versus if you were you know creating fake claustrophobic right. stage spaces where they could just open a hatch and pop out, that's a little bit of a different uh, mindset you're in. Whereas when you're six stories underground and there is really, you know, take you a half hour just to, to get out to see daylight. That, that creates a different, just a whole different vibe. Yeah. Well, and it's a found footage film. As directors, how is it sort of moving around the confines of found footage and telling the story that, as screenwriters, you guys wanted to tell? Well, it's interesting. With found footage, like, you really have to sort of write the camera in and sort of know where it's going to be and sort of block the action around it so, so that the camera can be in the right place to not only capture like the crazy things happening but also characters faces like you have to sort of be wary of that and, uh, and our cinematographer you know they don't really do the, the horror thing in France and he was a French Steve he, they don't really do the horror thing there and they don't really do the found footage thing there but he's a fantastic documentary uh, filmmaker and um, and he was on it like he loved it and uh and he was just amazing. And, you know, the actors, they all said that they loved the fact that you never knew when you were going to be on camera. So you had to bring it all to every take. You couldn't just wait for your close-up and, and nail the close-up and, and not nail everything. Like, the camera could be on you at any time. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we uh, stayed pretty close to the script overall, but within that, we really allowed the cinematographer to move around the space and to get people from different sides. We weren't worried about... We weren't overly worried about editorial and matching everything. We really just want to capture these these very you know organic moments that you know don't always happen when you're doing ten takes in a row from the exact same position. You know, we really want to just keep it keep it fresh every time. And uh, um, despite the small space, it really did uh, it lend itself to that. And what's the experience been like working with Thomas Tull and Legendary? Oh, they're amazing. They are. They just trust their filmmakers, and they really let us do our thing. And they you know served up a really you know, important part of the idea in the beginning and then just, you know, we delivered a very kind of strange supernatural movie that we thought worked and we didn't know how it would play and they, they just loved it and they, um, they're just the most supportive guys, Thomas and John Jashney and Alex Headland really, uh, we'd love to spend our whole careers there. And you guys have another movie coming out later this year? We, we do, do. Yeah. March 6th we have a, a movie called The Coup with Owen Wilson, Pierce Brosnan and Lake Bell coming up. With it's the, a bit of a different genre, right? Yeah, that's a uh, more thriller. That's uh, you know, it's it's kind of a survival tale. You know, it's it's interesting. Like it's it's surviving a crisis in the same way this is, or you know, it, it's sort of a thread we we noticed recently. We're like, okay, all our movies deal with like survival. Like no one ever changes their clothes. It's usually one day, and uh, it sort of fits that mold a bit. That's great. You guys are the survival writers and directors. Exactly. That's, that's, that's your niche. You need to find your crisis niche. That's perfect. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Great talking to you. Great talking to you.